Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Panit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically types of the power cable as per the strands. So, in this video, we will learn about basically what are the types of the cable as per strands. Okay. So, before we start the session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so basically what are the types of the cable as per strands so there are two types of the cable as per the strands one is single strand or we can say solid wire okay and another is multi strand cable so first let's discuss about multi strand cable basically what is multi strand cable so multi strand cable multi strand cable is the multi copper wire used under the insulation and that are twisted together into a into an organized bundle as you can see over here this is the multi strand cable over here as you can see there are so many strand of the copper wire okay which is under the insulation over it we have insulation and this multi code multi wire we can say strands are twisted okay into a organized bundle so basically this is the multi strand cable okay so basically what is what are the advantages of this cable over single standard or solid wire so so conductor material can be copper or aluminium okay so mostly in low voltage side lt side generally it is copper type and above it it can be copper or aluminium this is strand okay material can be copper or aluminium conductor material so basically this is the conductor then it is more flexible and can't split at bent root hence it is most suitable for bending and twisted root because of this multi strand of this copper it has more flexible than single or solid solid wire okay when so it will not brittle like uh, it can't split at bent root when we have a slightly like 90 degree bend somewhere at that time uh, there is um, no chances or less chances to break of this cable but instead of this if we will use in this bend condition uh, solid wire it will be break okay because of single strand cable that's why it is more suitable for bending and twisting root okay then the multi strand cable and wire conductor are used in high ac voltage and ac current so this can be used in high voltage and ac current as you can see in the transmission and distribution line even in uh, industrial circuit like uh, too many cables for motor run and other industrial application they are used uh, multi strand power cables so it can be carry uh, more voltage and even more current as compared to the single strand cable okay because of multi strand cable has a low resistance as compared to single strand cable okay so again ac current can be flow more as compared to solid wire so how it can be flow more because of low resistance in this multi strand cable and high resistance in solid wire that's why low current will be flow in solid wire and high current can be passed into this multi strand wire okay so why is it because of skin effect skin effect in the solid wire that's why resistance get more and current will flow towards the around the surface of the solid wire because of more resistance in between of this but in this we have a multi strand copper wires that's why this is fake will remove in this multi strand cable okay example so 
here we can use in power cables motor cable transmission and distribution line now here this is the multi strand cable these are the also multi strand cable and this is the single strand cable and this is the ac scr cable conductor which is used in transmission and distribution line so this is also multi strand conductor okay as we are talking about current ac current can be flow more in this multi strand cable and less in this single strand cable solid wire basically why is it happen because of resistance so <coughs> resistance of this multi strand cable is less as compared to this solid strand cable that's why current can be flow more in this multi strand cable as compared to this single strand cable so uh, let's take example suppose this is the multi strand cable so here we have a too many strands okay suppose this is the cable okay and uh, here we are going to flow this current to this cable okay and over here this is the single strand solid wire and current is flow over here so this is the suppose one solid wire resistance is 6 okay and one strand resistance is 6 ohm so every has a 6 6 okay so basically how when it enters the current like flow into this cable it will divide into many like separate standard i1 i2 i3 and so on okay so basically how the resistance get low as compared to this solid wire as you know that this is in parallel nature so 1 by r equal to which is equivalent resistance equal to 1 by 6 means r1 plus 1 by r2 and so on so here 1 by r equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 and 1 by 6 if we have a six number of multi stand cable in case of that if we calculate r will become like one plus one plus up to six one okay then divide by six so six divided by six equal to one so here overall resistance become one ohm so compared to this solid wire here we have a six ohm and this is the one ohm so here current can be flow more because of low resistance it oppose the loop and here resistance is 6 ohm that's why current will flow less as compared to this multi strand cable okay so hope you guys understand about it now single strand cable so basically what is single strand cable so only one copper only one copper wire under the insulation called the single strand or solid wire as you can see over here so this is single strand and over it we have a insulation again conductor can be more copper and aluminium this this conductor and used in extra low voltage and low current as i've already discussed because it can't bear can flow more current because of high resistance or skin effect in this single strand cable then low cost as compared to multi stand cable because of easy manufacturing so if we talk about cost so cost is less for this single stand cable as compared to multi stand cable because of this easy manufacturing process but in multi stand there are separate multi uh, strands of copper wire again these have to bundle and then x uh, then insulation so process process is increased as compared to this solid wire okay then it is based for dc for fixed location because if we pass the current for dc distribution dc current so skin it effect will not happen because of dc current okay only ac supply only skin effect happen okay and where we have a fixed locations like a we are not going to frequently change the uh, wire at that application we can also use this solid wire then come to it is best 
for DC and for fixed location. Uh, if we talk about its application, it is used in telephone wire, headphone cables, and electronic circuits like PCB boards. So, so these are the single single stand and multi stand. So, what are the advantages of multi stand cable and single stand cable? We both we we know about pro and cons of this single stands and multi stand cable. So hope you guys understand about what is single stand cable or solid wire and what is multi stand cable. So thank you for watching this video. So please like, share, comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming video. So thank you very much. See you again in next video.